Historic changes will soon make their way to Dickinson College in Carlisle. The school will rename parts of campus after former slaves who made a huge difference in the community. Jeremiah Marshall joins us live. Jeremiah. Yeah, Alicia Valerie, a total of four former enslaved people will receive this honorable recognition, and it's something that has been in the works for a long time that is now in a home stretch. I'm here today because of what he did. Central Dolphin East High School principal and Harrisburg native Jesse Rawls Jr. says at first he had no idea one of his ancestors would leave a huge legacy behind until his daughter did some digging. The whole time she was doing it, I said, I know she's going to find something that's going to blow our minds. And he was right. Research showed Rawls was related to Henry Spratley, who escaped from slavery in Virginia and later worked at Dickinson College. A residence hall is set to honor Spratley. When a school does that, that you had an impact at that school and now they're, you know, naming a building after him um, just again shows me that influence that he had. I think that the process of historical research is so interesting and in how oftentimes there's more to the story that we didn't know about before. Charlotte Goodman is a student at the college who says she's proud to see this moment in history come to life at her school. And I also think that it's really exciting that during our time here as students, we get to actually see a revision of history playing out on our own campus that's helping us to better understand our past and um, how we got to where we are today. Professors say these individuals were not enslaved people on the campus. They played an influential role which has helped shape the school. Uh, they weren't just janitors and food sellers. They were community leaders, they were civil rights activists. They were really important figures on campus and in town. Educators say renaming these different parts of the campus is inspirational to their descendants. It's rewarding in a way to know that uh, your ancestors are, are, are um, that they were doing some great works, um, th the best that they could um, with what they had. And on November 20th, there will be a ceremony on the campus to set these changes into stone. In studio, Jeremiah Marshall, ABC 27 News.